Welcome to Inside Healthcare. We're coming to you from inside the urgency room in Woodbury, and we're very pleased to be back talking in person with Dr. Rob Anderson. So thank you. Hi, Jody. Welcome back to the urgency room, and welcome to our brand new refreshed Woodbury location. It's awesome to be here in this location. So, um, you know, it is spring, mm -hmm. and we're seeing a lot of kids getting back in sports activities, mm -hmm. people getting on the golf courses and things. What type of um, spring injuries do you usually see at this time of the year? You know, we've all been cooped up inside. You know, there's some brave Minnesotans who go out and enjoy the winter, but, you know, we see the warmth outside, and we're so excited to get back out there again. So, you know, oftentimes patients come in here because they are so eager to get out on their bicycle again, and they just go out there for their, you know, first bike ride. Uh, my oldest three kids, this happened on a warm day uh, just course. recently, and they all went out. They, we pumped up the bike tires. They are excited to get out there, and they all got on their bikes and just started going off, and none of them had their helmet. And I said, kids, you got to come back and put on your helmet. Unfortunately, none of them fell, but, you know, unfortunately, sometimes, you know, kids do fall off their bicycle and, you know, hit their head and have some head injuries. So oftentimes parents will bring their kids in concerned about their, their kid's head injury. So that's one of the common presentations, or even rollerblading as well. You know, all the walkways around town, there's been salt and a lot of sand out there. So people are all trying to rollerblade and it's just such a fine sand, it's very easy to slip and fall mm -hmm. on that sand. So broken wrists and stuff like that we see. Yeah, I always never know like when they're injured, mm -hmm. you know, is it broken? Is it just a sprain? When, do you, when should you come to the urgency room to be seen by an emergency physician like yourself? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's tough, right? So if you, if you fall and you have a significant injury, if it hurts a lot, you know, if you move your wrist and it hurts, or if there's you know, some of the ailment, if you twisted your ankle, you know, just trust your gut, trust your instinct. I, I would say if people have a, a sense within them to know if there's something wrong or if, if they're worried, if their spouse is worried about them, that often prompts a lot of people to come in, you know, to be seen and we have the ability to do x-rays here we can do ultrasounds we can do cat scans as well you know sometimes people fall and injure their their chest when they fall and break some ribs and we have the ability to do x-rays you know if we're worried about bleeding in their lungs we can do cat scans of their chest or their their tummy as well to look at their spleen or liver so we have the ability to do all that testing in-house here and what would be those symptoms that they would be complaining about when they've fallen that you mm -hmm. should be concerned and bring them here yeah you know pain is a really good indicator if something hurts a lot then you take a simple Tylenol it's not getting better if Obviously, if a wrist or ankle is grossly deformed and you know looks abnormal, I'd certainly encourage people to come in to, to do the, the x-rays and be evaluated. And you mentioned the head too. I mean, I really worry about mm -hmm. that when they've hit their head, like, yeah. you know, is everything okay? I, you know, stay alert yeah. and everything? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. We see a lot of head injuries Especially when they can't talk. Yep, yep, yeah. Or if somebody is on a, a, a blood thinner, if it's an elderly patient who you know, had a fall then, you know, and if they're out of blood thinner, they're at higher risk of having bleeding in the brain. So we can do the CAT scan and we can tell them, and we can use different clinical criteria to determine who is at risk for having bleeding in the brain and then order the CT scan if appropriate and then um, review that with them. From seeing the types of injuries that you see, what kind of advice would you have for preventing some mm -hmm. of these injuries from happening? Yeah, well certainly wear your helmet if you're out on your, your bicycle. You know, the spring weather, the another thing that we see are motorcycles too. Everyone's back out riding their bikes again and just having so much fun. So, you know, just a caution to all of us drivers that are out there just to be mindful of those motorcycles, to, um, you know, watch for them in your rearview mirror, check your blind spots to make sure you don't hit them. You know, and it seems like even before the spring was hitting, I mean, we had so many, it seems like a lot number of pedestrians being hit. Mm -hmm. So again, yeah. I would just caution that, yeah. walking Absolutely. In, in areas and well lit and things yeah. like that. You know, another thing that we see here in Minnesota in the spring is snow, right? You know, we're all excited <laughs> no, no, we never have snow it's warm, in but every now and then we get the snow and, you know, that might freeze overnight. So a lot of times, you know, the spring it's so warm and then we get a day or two where it's cold and um, everything freezes and the snow gets on top of there. So just to be mindful of that, you know, that there's ice underneath that snow still and just be careful to not slip on that. Too. Yeah, even today I was yeah. thinking about yeah. that, making sure I where I was walking. Yeah. Okay. Other um, advice for our viewers about um, preventing or if they um, get a sports injury or mm -hmm. spring sports injury, what would you suggest? Yeah. I mean, trust your gut, trust your instincts. You know, we'd be happy to see um, the patient, you know, the family member. We have the ability to do the testing, the x-rays, CAT scans, ultrasound. We're open from 8 a.m. until 9 p.m. at all three of our locations in Egan, Badness Heights, and Woodbury. I would be happy to see them. And your emergency care physicians mm -hmm. as well, which is yep. very unique. Yeah, so uh, the physicians who work here, 
most of us work half time here and half time in one of the local emergency departments and we have a lot of the similar resources as emergency departments. We're not an emergency department but we do have some similar resources. If you feel that you can drive here um, to be seen, we'd be happy to take care of you. Any final comments for our viewers? Yeah. Well, thank you for coming back to our, our new refreshed Woodbury location just across from the Costco here in Woodbury. All right, Dr. Rob Anderson, as always, great advice, so thank you for joining us. Thank you, Jody. We'll be back with more right after this. 114th Infantry Company, Iraq. The memories are all blurred. I don't know what's wrong with me. The words, they're hard to find. I came back a different person. I wonder if she's better off without me. You just feel alone. You gave all to the cause of freedom. Now it's our turn to give our all to you. It's free and totally confidential. Reach us at OperationNotForgotten.com. We are here. National health officials say mental health of our students in high schools has worsened during COVID. One CDC director says our youth are in crisis, and the new data shows that young people and their families have been under incredible levels of stress. We talked with a certified parenting coach and educator, Mary Gusenberg, for advice and help for parents and kids about calming the chaos. To answer your question, how can we calm the chaos? And the work really starts with me. It starts with me, myself, as the caregiver. How am I showing up? Am I showing up parenting over my kiddo or parenting under my kiddo? My, when you work with a coach, we, we talk about parenting with. And when I show up and I parent with, I'm showing love, respect, communication, having an honest look at what am I feeling and doing inside that plays into the chaos in my home. So what would be some of those five um, peaceful parenting tools that you give to parents? Oh, yes. It's actually called the peace process. Truly, it's using the acronym, and the research comes from a gentleman named Dr. Dan Siegel, and the peace process starts with presence, kind of how I just introduced this calming to chaos. The other way around, from <laughs> chaos to calm, um, but it does, it starts with being present, stepping back and being present with myself. Am I addressing my own emotions so that when I do get to be with my loved one, I'm showing up authentically, truly. I'm not carrying that stuff that um, how I was parented. I'm taking a look and coming in and going, I want to have a deep bond with my kiddo. So the first one is P for presence. Then we do E. We talk about empathy. And what does empathy mean? And how am I an empathetic listener? I'm going to listen to understand, not to respond. And remember, empathy means with. Sympathy is the opposite, right? It's, it's Empathy is being with your loved ones, being in those struggles, being in those celebrations. Um, so that's the E. So P-E-A, A is affection. And if you're gonna show true empathy, it's showing up and being affectionate with your loved ones. And it might mean a pat on the back. It might mean a hug. And it might mean trusting that they, they need space, but I'm gonna still show up and just be with my loved one. Um, when we do the affection, I like to talk about four S's, seen, safe, soothed, and secure. And you have to have these three for our kiddos to feel secure. Our kids have to be seen, they have to feel safe. We have to be there to be present when they're in distress to help soothe them. And when we have those three places, things in place, then our kids feel secure. Okay, that was the P-E-A, now C. C is calm. And what am I doing for my own calming? We have to have mental health strategies. We have to have calming techniques that I need. And then I also have to know what my kiddo needs. How am I when, and you're going to have different calming techniques from anger to fear. They're going to be different calming techniques. And then I, as the caregiver, I'm going to help guide my kiddo and model so that I'm showing up and modeling these. And then the last D e is engage, um, explore solutions together. 
And we are going to, parenting is hard. There is no formula, but I am going to engage my kiddo. Wow, I think you're spending a lot of time on screens. What can we do? What do you need of me to take a break? And we are going to talk to this as a family. We're going to base it on our family values. It's, it's a joy to be able to accompany families and then have this little framework. And again, P-E-A-C-E. It's, it's super helpful. And it can matter um, no matter what age the kids are or how many kids you have or if your spouse is supportive or not. Or I mean, there's oh. so many dynamics that go into all of that. Yeah. Be- yes, because every family has their own platform, their own foundation, right? And very much so. Um, I teach about flip the lid, and that can go as young as teaching kiddos from four or five years old what it means when their emotions are rising and they're going to flip their lid to partners. And when you work with a parent coach, I have a teacher who has said to me, Mary, I'm using these strategies in my classroom. So it just ripples. It just shows that it doesn't just increase the connection between me and my loved ones in my home. It ripples into all relationships. My website is MKG Parent Coach, and that stands for Mindful Kindness and Gratitude. And so, yes, my MKGParentCoach.com. I do have a six-week class, and that's an opportunity for parents to build community and then get these tools of how they show up. And we walk through generational patterns. We walk through calming techniques. We walk through diffusing anger and how to approach um, approach my triggers. What's triggering me? And then how am I playing into that? Um, so that's, a, I can send you that link also. It's on an Eventbrite page. Well, Mary, awesome to have you on Inside Healthcare. Great information for our viewers. So thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's joy to be. I was good to see you, Jody, And it's great to be able to share and support parents. Blessings to you all. Since the moment you were born, I've made a thousand wishes. Wishes for your future in a world that's changing fast. Do play and laugh. Do win and lose. Do it all with confidence, kindness, and strength. And always do your best to remember that no matter what you do in this life, what matters to me is that you keep doing. Well, welcome back to Inside Healthcare. As we mentioned in our last segment, people are stressed out and we have just what you need, a wellness challenge that can help you get healthier in just 30 days from the comfort of your home. It's called the Spring Stress Less 30 Day Wellness Challenge. And we are very pleased to have back with us local fitness experts, Rachel Larson and Alice Halverson. So thank you both for being with us. It's great to have you. Thank so, you. Thank you. Before we talk about the challenge, um, even the national report says that people are really stressed out, families and kids mm. and stuff. What are you seeing with among your clients and friends and family? Well, we are seeing that folks really want connection and they need to move again. And so with, with what we've all experienced over these last few years with, with COVID really taking a hit on us in ways that we don't even realize mm. that, that have happened. I mean, just for, for me personally, um, the switch from working from home and being separated from from loved ones and then our gyms closing up and then our habits being completely upended. We are stressed physically, mentally, and emotionally. And so we are so excited to be partnering with Woodbury Thrives and for Flow State to bring this Spring Stress Less Challenge. It's about taking time to breathe, to stretch, to maybe some moving meditation, provide resources, all these things. People don't even think about those breathing and stretching and all Mm -hmm. of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in a daily, in a daily delivery. And so for every day for 30 days, there will be an activity or exercise or stretch or yoga class for, for folks to experience. Families can participate and of course individuals can participate as well. And I can just say, I know I need it. Yeah, yes. I, I need a stress less challenge yes. as well, and so I will be participating, and I, I just can't wait to, to get started. Mm-hmm. And Alice and I, we really have a, a mission to connect with our community and, and to provide what folks need to be well and to really facilitate well-being by providing the tools and resources that, again, 
folks may have may have access to elsewhere, but mm -hmm. we're pulling it all into a place and a space that is um, attainable, um, inclusive, and convenient. And again, yeah. it's virtual, so you can be anywhere and participate. Anyone you yeah. think 30 days, anyone can do that in 30 days, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yep. people go, oh, I don't have time for that. But, you know, when you kind of condense it to 30 days, tell us how yeah. this program is going to work. Yeah, absolutely. So we do have 30 um, daily activities for you to do. Um, our participants to do, but they're not all super long. They're not all 60 minutes yeah. or 90 yeah. minutes. So some of them are just resources like guides to do. Some are two minute breathing. Some might be a 30 minute yoga or like a 15 minute stretch. So it's very, very doable. Um, the main goal, like Rachel had said, is just to, to really get out in the community and really help people increase you know, their feelings of well-being, reduce their stress, um, just bring a little bit of um, you know, put Balance. tools in their toolbox, right, mm -hmm. to get them more rebalanced and, and just feeling better. So really all they have to do is sign up, log in, and follow it. Besides the breathing, what about stretching? How does that help reduce stress? Yeah. You would think like stretching, your pulling things. Well, I just have to interject a little bit that when we are stretching, we're always cueing breathing. They should go together. Oh. So they're So they're kind yeah. of married. Mm -hmm. And I'll let you kind of... Keep yeah, well, that, well, that's very true. So a lot of what we're doing with all these modalities, including stretching, is, is really bringing people into the present moment, right? So we're bringing them into their body. We're helping to, you know, weed out distractions in their life. And just, you know, stretching is helping to relieve tension. And I know sometimes it, it feels like tension at the same time, right? You feel a tight area, but, you know, just overall feels good. And like I said, brings people um, away from their their work stress, the other thoughts, and just brings them into their body and allows them to be present. So, mm -hmm. and you know, when we're at our, our desk mm -hmm. and we're all tense, and so just, just helping stretch that out, you know, it feels so good for us. So we're saying you're even gonna have like a Wednesday stretching sort of a class that you're gonna be offering here? Absolutely, yeah. yeah, so that's one of the modalities. So we'll have yoga, meditation, breathing, and stretching as, and, um, as sort of like the four kind of main you know, kind of video modalities. And we'll also have some mm -hmm. other resources and guides intertwined in there. So it's not all going to be videos to physically follow. There'll be other um, tools that we're going to offer in the toolbox. But yes, those will be some of the videos that they will be able to do. And the challenge is live streaming, on demand, certain classes. How does that work? It'll be on demand. And, and of course, as, as we've said, virtual starts April 26th. So we're, we're excited about that. And what else do we need and to then know? it ends on may 26 which is my birthday really well, yeah. happy birthday in advance <laughs> that's wonderful you're gonna feel awesome on your birthday yeah yes. i will yes. and stress-free going into the summer having gone through the 30 days right yeah i mm -hmm. mean that would be the ultimate what can people expect to achieve in that 30 days taking part in the challenge yeah that's a great question i mean i think overall feelings of just you know, more calm, more Overall at peace, well-being, well -being. less stressed. Yeah. Um, so are you know, we say happier? Yeah. And some of those, I think that it's like once you go through it, you realize, hey, I do feel a lot calmer. I'm able to conduct myself differently or react differently in certain more situations. Resilient. Right. Mm -hmm. um, we do plan to kind of survey people before the challenge goes and after oh, to try to gather point. some of that yeah. information because we really want to know. But um, I'm excited to do the challenge too because I have never done all of these things for 30 days, honestly. So I'm, I'm really excited on the impact it can make. Yeah, the survey is a really good idea because that was a national survey that said that people are really stressed out. That's how we learned about you know the mm -hmm. latest, how people are doing and stuff like that. Yeah. What would be other things if someone wants to take part in the challenge that they will learn or do? Or can anyone, any age, any um, background and stuff take part in the classes? 100% inclusive. So, so all folks should be able to participate effectively and happily and, yeah. and really enjoy it. And again, what we're going to have variety of resources and, and videos and exercises, yeah. stretches, so all sorts of all sorts of modalities and, and opportunities. And what's really cool about it is it's going to be in a playlist form. And so mm -hmm. when you log on, you'll have all of your different days, your 30 days listed and along one track. side. And mm -hmm. you can keep track of what you've done. You can mark as complete. Yeah. You could maybe even favorite one if you want to go back yeah. And, yeah. and do that favorite maybe yoga class again. Mm -hmm. And so we really want anybody, everybody, 
to feel completely comfortable stepping in and, and participating. And it's 30 for 30. $30, yep. Yep. nice 30. price. Yeah. Makes yep. it easy to remember, doesn't mm -hmm. it, right? Just a dollar a day. Uh, a yeah. dollar a day keeps the stress away. There you oh, go. Say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, right? Yeah, so yep. affordable. Um, and we do have an option for families, mm. right? Yes, we so do. So family option for an $80, just kind of share a login. Like, it, you know, maybe you have six people in your family, and you sure don't each have to pay $30 for that. So that's a great option for people. And what mm. times of day are the classes and things being offered? Thank you. It, so yeah. it's on demand. It's any time. Oh. It's whenever it's the right time for you. Yeah. And I think we're also going to have some Zoom check-ins. So we'll have some some times where we can come together live as a community to to engage as well. And that will be part of part of the offering. And they get uh. to work with you two, very experienced yes. fitness trainers in that. So they're getting, learning from the best on how to get healthier and, and be stress-free during this time. So, so yeah. important. Well, Wonderful. I don't know if we want to go so far as to say we're going to be stress-free, but we're going to bring that level of stress <laughs> down. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever been stress-free. I know. But, but it's, all, yep. it's, all about, it's all about improving self-care and, and taking steps to, to improve, um, improve how we're feeling. And even yeah. if you're feeling amazing, this is still for you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I think people, I know people aren't doing enough of these types of things in their life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me um, that. I you know, walked this morning. That's about all I got in. And, and yeah. that's, that's wonderful. And yeah. we'll be encouraging that too. Get outside and go for a walk. You know, do, and, and what I really, really hope for this is it will create a really positive snowball effect with people, right? Mm -hmm. So they start to do this and then they just want to continue and can they, maybe they'll keep doing that throughout their life or beyond the 30 days. Like that's really what the entire you know, goal of this is, is just to really make an impact in people's lives and help, yep. help to form new habits, wouldn't you say? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. And, yeah. and to realize that these, these tools, yes, I can continue to use, just like you said, yep. habit forming and then learning new things. Yes. Well, I haven't, I haven't really tried this breathing before and mm -hmm. you know what? I actually feel pretty good. I might just do this more routinely through the day. Take that deep breath in and then exhale and make sure that my exhale is just as long as my inhale and time it out and get that air deeper instead of shallow and up in the chest. And mm -hmm. there, there's just so much to, so much to learn in resiliency tools uh, that we're gonna share. And why do you wanna be able to offer this to the general public and purpose, you know? Because we care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because we care, uh, yeah. we care about we care about our community, and we we thrive when others can thrive, and we feel fulfilled when we can positively influence others in their health and well-being. And we're yeah. so passionate about the work that we do. And yeah. I just have to say, it's so fun to be to have my sister as my partner with yeah. Full State, <laughs> and to be able to be able to do this work together. Um, just on a personal note, our, our parents are <laughs> incredibly active. They're our, 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 our number one and number two clients, and we just see the positive <laughs> impact that we're having on our own family with yeah. them exercising, breathing, stretching every day, trying things they've never tried before. Yeah. And so, and there's a ripple effect. They're sharing that with their friends. And so we yeah. just, uh, we're very mission driven. Yeah. So they can go to your website. I think we're going to have the QR code on the screen. Perfect. So people just you know, mm -hmm. bring their iPhone to the screen and they can get that and that'll get you right in to help sign up and stuff. Yeah, Other it's, it's that mm -hmm. easy. Um, otherwise, just theflowstate.com uh, slash events. So just our event page on the website. And um, yeah, easy as that. And the flow state, there's no W in it. So just <laughs> F-L-O, right? Mm -hmm. But easy to find. Any final comments? Thank you so much for Thank having you, us on the show and for letting us share about this. Uh, we're just, we're yeah. just thrilled to be able to offer this again in partnership with, with Woodbury Thrives and um, we're Flow State and we're just so thrilled to be here. When yes. I heard about it, I was just so excited about the whole program. It sounds really wonderful, so. Yes, thank you. Yeah, we really just hope to get many, many people involved, so feel free to, to share with friends and family and um, we'll see what we can do in 30 days. All right. Well, thank you both for being with us. Always thank a you, pleasure Jody. to have you with us. And that is um, the end of our show. So we appreciate you being with us. And we thank you for being with us on Inside Healthcare. We'll see you next time on Inside Healthcare. See you then, everyone.